What's good, everybody? It's your guy, Rez, and I'm back again with y'all for another episode of Welcome to the Bay. Welcome. So today, I'm going to be going on a little field trip, guys. I figured I'd take you with me once again. Um, I want to do a little more, like, vlog-style videos, so, you know, kind of show you around the Bay and, you know, like, my hometown and stuff like that. But basically, I am going to be meeting up with a local. Um, he's a real good guy, uh, real good business. Check him out. He goes by the name of Sharks City Vintage. I'll leave a link on the description below if you want to check him out for his like handles and stuff. He does a lot of IG stuff like that where he buys, sells, trades a lot of vintage and just like really dope, you know, everything pretty much, you know. So um, I actually sent him some money. Uh, I bought a hat off him and uh, I'm on my way to pick it up and I'm going to go by his place and, uh, you know, show you around and what he has to offer. Also in this video, I thought I'd share with you guys some new pickups as well. As you can see, this one right here is a brand spanking new hat. Snapback right here by New Era. This is the new San Francisco 49ers 75th anniversary patch that they're going to be wearing in upcoming season right here for the NFL. And um, just a plain hat. As you can see, I got this from the 49ers team shop, but you have that embroidered right there that 75th diamond anniversary patch and i got the matching jersey that can be, that they're going to be wearing as you can see guys there is no patch on this jersey yet i am working on that i know a lot of you guys showed your support with my last video when i did a vlog to levi stadium to try and find a patch you guys have sent me links you guys have shown me pictures and all that information that i need which is great so really all that is uh left is for me to pull the trigger and get some patches to slap on this bad boy so right now i'm rocking it without the patch but i am working on that all right guys so i am going to drive over there right now and i'll see y'all in a bit your nuisance there is some traffic but we should be there shortly all right y'all we just parked so i'm about to head out over there and i'll say what's up to the homies All right, y'all, so I just left the Homie Shark City's vintage spot and uh, I got a couple of things, new things I'm gonna share with you guys. 
Um, pretty stoked actually with these pickups I got here. One of them, uh, he was holding for me and I picked it up today and the other one was just kind of a spontaneous pickup. But uh, I'll share with you guys what I got. I'm gonna head back to my spot and we're basically, uh, I'm gonna show you what I picked up. All right guys, what is good everybody? I am back at the headquarters here and I have some pickups that I wanna share with you guys. So shout outs to the homie Shark City Vintage AKA P408 for really being a solid dude and just bringing some good stuff for the locals man out here in san jose california man he always looks out for the locals and that's what i love about his business that's what i love about his shop man definitely check him out you know you saw what he had he had so much stuff his inventory gets updated almost daily so you know there's always something new and different whenever you peep his instagram and stuff like that also shout outs to the other vendors that i showed in this video previously you know there's always something different whenever i go to the homie p aka shark city vintage spot there's always like different types of vendors and just a great way to grow locally and just you know overall you know expand your resources and what you're looking for in this whole market of collecting all right y'all so i have some pickups that i want to share with you guys that i got today and um you know honestly these have been some dope pickups i've been meaning to show you guys so first off let's start off by showing you what i picked up from the homie p spot right here shark city vintage as you can see right here guys this is a vintage hat by sports specialties this is like a battle of the bay hat right here of the san francisco giants and the oakland a's it's such a dope hat man i know a lot of people don't really like this whole split design i hear like so many mixed reviews about these types of styles but personally for me i'm digging this one just because again like i said you know i'm, I'm very uh i don't know how to put it but like when it comes to baseball i'm very neutral i mean obviously i'm a giants fan but like i don't hate the a's you know or anything like that you know what i mean like i actually respect both teams so yes i do have some a's merch in my wardrobe and in my personal collection so i'll be definitely sharing those in the near future but you know um when it comes to baseball like i said i'm very neutral out of all the sports you know like the warriors i'm like very die hard with my warriors my niners and uh, even with my san jose sharks but with baseball man i you know i i could just appreciate like different teams a little more i don't know i don't know if i'm making sense but i'm ranting guys but this is a dope hat as you can see right here you know you can see the split design right there of the giants colors right there with that base black and then the orange sf and then on the a's of course you have that split right there with that hunter green and that like gold yellow right there and then of course the button on top is yellow so um obviously guys for those of you who don't know battle of the bay you know the giants and the the a's played back in 1989's world series you know this was uh, a very iconic and historical moment for bay area fans you know just because basically san francisco and oakland california are very close to each other they are both in the bay area and not to mention there was a huge earthquake that happened back in 89 so obviously you know if you live in california if you live in the bay area we have been due for a giant earthquake again for quite some time so everybody's just you know anticipating when it's going to happen obviously the giants and a's have not seen each other in the world series ever since 89 so yes i am aware that the a's did win in this series so predominantly you know it makes sense that um a lot of people get the a's fitteds or a's hats with the championship or world series patch you know on it because they did win the series but nonetheless guys you know i respect that i that's like a really iconic historical moment for bay area heads and i can respect you know either or team winning but this is a dope hat this is what's this hat was paying homage to right here guys you could rock this with an a's or giants jersey or outfit whatever apparel you feel necessary to wear it with but as you can see right there sports specialties and then of course inside one size fits all because it's a snapback then you see the sports specialties wood marking right there and then on the other side you have the genuine merchandise right there along with the sports specialty corporation so uh white sweatband and then of course you know it's still crispy guys you know the material on this is kind of like a blend of like wool and uh twill so you know it's a really nice hat very very vintage you know as you can see right there looks super dope 
you know i kind of like this because you know i i got it because it kind of reminds me of like a display piece you know maybe to have around like the man cave and stuff like that but occasionally from time to time i'll probably you'll probably see it on my dome all right guys so that's the first pickup also let me give you one more look of this dope pickup that i got I showed it earlier in the beginning of the video this right here is a niners with the 75th anniversary patch that they are going to be wearing this upcoming season i'm stoked right there in the side is embroidered and um this is a made of 100 percent wool if i'm not mistaken there is the tags of the new era and of course under you have the hologram so plain hat but super dope you know very very iconic to the niners so you already know your boy's digging this pickup right here. Also, this was a spontaneous pickup that I got from the homie Shark City's Vintage right here. Wasn't expecting to pick this up, but when I saw it, I was like, yo, that's a pretty dope jersey, man. You know, I've been trying to get more into baseball jerseys. Uh, I'm going to be totally honest with you guys. I'm not really a baseball guy. I don't really get into like baseball jerseys as much as I do with like football and basketball stuff, you know, so I, I've been trying to expand my jersey collection a little bit and get some baseball jerseys but this style right here from the cleveland indians era because now they are known as the cleveland guardians you know this was always one of my favorite baseball designs especially from the cleveland organization you know because this is uh it's iconic man you know a lot of great players played during this era for these jersey styles right here but this is uh actually brand new with tags that i got from the home ep so shout outs to him as you can see right there cooperstown collection if you look at the neck tag, give you a closer look. If you look at the neck tag, you have that Cooper Sound collection right there. And then you have like the washing instructions, as you can see right there. XL. Um, this runs a little bit on the bigger side, guys. So definitely, um, if you're going for that older, like, or that current style with a tailored fit, you might want to go down a size on these jerseys because they do run kind of big, in my opinion. But this is like their replica versions, or they call they're like equivalent to like a swing man but check that out right there cooperstown collection you got that beautiful indians wood marking right there on the front it's kind of like a wool material right there just kind of etched across beautiful 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 and then of course you have the patch with the chief wahoo right there with the baseball and you know this is a really dope patch on the side left arm nothing on the right side of the arm other than the majestic wood marking and then this is a blank jersey guys there is nothing on the back i might get this customized i was thinking of getting an eckersley uh customize it to an eckersley because i always wanted the mitchell ness version of eckersley with this jersey really really rare but you know for now this will do it's like a pullover style and then of course you have like the v-neck that collar right there with that like navy blue and white trim and then of course right here you have like also the white and navy blue on the arm sleeve trim so this is a super dope jersey guys i wasn't actually planning on picking this up but i saw it and i got it for a hell of a deal man it was like really 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 cheap so i decided to pull the trigger on it and i'm glad i did because um, i've been trying to step up my baseball jersey game so super dope addition to my personal jersey collection and then of course i do want to give a huge shout out to my niners again for really stepping it up with the jerseys man shout outs to the niners the faithful with these new elites that they dropped earlier this year and of course you already know this is one of my favorite styles and designs from the 49ers is the 94 uh, with the drop shadow right there so you already know man your boy had to pick up another vapor elite right here so shout outs to the niner shop but let's open this in this video y'all and of course you know i do want to give a huge shout out to the 49ers team shop for dropping these jerseys here is another dope banger just like the one that i have on my body right here i'm wearing the george kittle vapor elite but you already know me man gotta support my guy nick bosa right here as you can see this is very identical to the one that i have here so i'm just going to go over the quick details you know obviously this is the vapor elite the authentic version so you know there's uh going to be double stitching and different type of material and technology used on the jersey but as you can see nick bosa his iconic number 97 is double stitched beautiful beautiful jersey guys and yes i am aware that brian young did wear this number before nick bosa 
so um, obviously they never retired the number but as you can see right there the cuff sleeves um, if you want to see a detailed review on this jersey that I have on my body definitely check it out uh, I did a video on my channel earlier uh, this year on this kittle right here so you know if you want to see exactly how it fits pricing and all that stuff definitely check out that video i'll also link that video in my description for this video so you could definitely check it out but you know these new vapor elites man i love them dude i love the fits on these new vapor elites because of the cuffs and, you know i know a lot of people do not like that look i personally do i think it's different i think it's fresh and uh you know i'm a huge fan of these jerseys i mean i got two you know i might get another one i'm hoping that nike or the 49ers will release a fred warner vapor elite because i've been dying to get a fred warner jersey i know they released a bunch of them but you know they are in the limiteds and then the patch you know obviously my only gripe with the vapor elite authentics that you buy from retailers is that they do not come with the 75th diamond patch like the one on my hat right here so it sucks you know i understand that you know but it is what it is all right guys and those are pretty much my pickups in this video i hope you enjoyed this little vlog slash uh unveiling unboxing with y'all you know i have some pickups that are coming along the way um they haven't arrived yet but as soon as they come i will do a video on it and share with you guys on the channel i uh, appreciate all the support guys please don't forget to leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel if you have not done so you know and also share your thoughts on what you think about the pickups that i got are you feeling them or was there certain ones you weren't feeling leave your thoughts in the comment box below all right y'all well that's pretty much going to end it for me hope you guys have a wonderful day out there it is still summertime out here in the bay so it is really warm so i'm gonna try and cool off a little bit i'm gonna step out turn on the fan maybe you know step in the refrigerator or something and cool off but until then guys you already know it's all love from here shout out to all my supporters and subscribers on the channel you already know signing out from the bay res is out peace